Hello everybody, welcome back to Ben Trading Cards and we are going to talk about marketplaces and my mistakes on dealing those trading cards um, from strangers okay so we're here in an on route they call it on route it's an Ontario route something like that it's a stopover uh, for gas food um, washroom so I'm here I'm chilling um, I'm on the road guys um, I'm always on the road so let's talk about marketplaces and the first time I was doing the collections I was try uh, starting collecting cards and I was basing on uh, basing the price on eBay then I was looking at eBay and I was hesitant to buy on eBay guys it's I haven't bought an eBay on eBay and my first time buying on eBay are those cards from Magic the Gathering so this uh, discussion is very useful for people who are starting on flesh and blood because flesh and blood is a new game it's about one almost one and a half years all right then if this game is new you really don't know or maybe you have a little idea on how much really is the price of a certain card okay so let's talk about the marketplaces that i was visiting guys last time it was first it was ebay and on ebay you can see the buy it now list uh the buy it now price then you can see uh what are those other cards and you can easily find what card is uh like the name of the card you can find it there and how much is it and the date you can see the dates so that's what i like because it's easy and you can pay by paypal um credit card whatever right there's so many things to uh, there's so many ways on how to pay and it's easy guys because you can also buy on ebay and you can return it to the seller um, unless the seller said no return policy but at least you are you know you are secured um, a bit secured because you can be refunded all right so i i was looking at it i, I haven't tried it uh during that time but first uh time when i collected so i went to facebook marketplace and i found out facebook marketplace is i guess probably uh in our situation i'm in, uh, i'm in canada it's a bit safe here guys um because in my experience i haven't had any bad experience buying from strangers here especially those when i go to their homes to pick it up uh, to pick up the magic um, cards okay so i found out that there's this site facebook marketplace and and i can buy trading cards i can buy magic the gathering with strangers and it's good to to be in a marketplace a facebook marketplace and although i can verify if their name is really the real name on facebook but at least i know that their address their house uh, i know where they live guys because they will put uh, as soon as i had a complete transaction like conversation from them with uh with a seller and i can you know he will give me the address and i'll go to, the, to his place or her place right and i pick it up uh i can pick it up uh face to face by by person or he just put it in a um, mailbox and i'll just drop my payment okay there's there's so many ways on uh how to to meet people on facebook marketplace and also i can meet him on malls i i, I did that in malls in stores so many ways to 
um, to meet up the, the stranger or the seller. So I, I used to buying on Facebook. Then I found out that I can buy on local gaming stores. And just recent, just uh, after knowing on Facebook, I was buying on Facebook for about a uh, f few months. Then I found out that hey, I can can also buy on um, on the local gaming stores but the price of course is you know it's a bit higher because they have uh, they have to pay taxes they have to pay um, their overhead costs so that's uh, we understand right and the advantage of having uh, buying on Facebook guys you don't have to pay for the tax and of course it's uh, a bit cheaper than um, local gaming stores and that's the advantage of facebook okay and so far it's been a good experience for me i've been probably 30 people i was uh 30 sellers on facebook marketplace i was meeting up with them and uh there's no issues okay so those are the the marketplaces and there's one uh, also sorry guys i forgot there's one is kgg but i haven't bought from that uh from that platform because there's few are selling and there's the the, the price is a bit higher okay so my mistakes the mistake that i did uh, i got i experienced on eBay specifically on eBay is that I was not looking I was I was looking at the wrong um, price okay because I did not know that I should not be looking at the buy it now price because the buy it now price people can but I can say manipulate or yeah because they they can they can put whatever price they want for that card some may base it on the the low or the the normal one the average one but some people are go goes to about a hundred percent more than 200 percent higher than the, the the market value and it's because i, I was a noob i i really don't know what's about uh, where to look at on ebay so i found out guys that on ebay you don't have to go to the buy it now uh, for the price you need to go and filter out on the sold items and it should be completed i click on sold item and completed it's around at the left side core uh, of the left side guys and you can browse it down then there's a, like a ticker then you tick it sold or completed so that's what I learned guys that when I check the sold items it will list down the date that it was bought and you can see the actual uh, the actual uh, paid item okay the actual bought item there so at least you have the estimate of what is really the the peop, uh, the buyer are paying the seller so at least you know that this card is priced as, as this because it was bought at this price right although there are some are a bit low a bit high because they negotiated guys but at least you have like an average and you can have an estimate on what really is the, uh, what are really the people are paying for so that's what I've learned on eBay and on marketplace people are uh, sellers are as uh, putting their um, conditions there they will say price is 75% of F2F or star star city SC what was that star city games or SCG something like that what I thought that that's the reference F2F or SEG. What is F2F? Face to uh, 
F2F is face to face and SCG is Star City Games. So when you go to their website, I checked the website guys like F2F. Um they will for example, they will list down the there's a card and a price, right? And there's a quantity. So if the quantity is like let's say 1, okay? And it's $50. So if it's sold if it uh if the the status of that card is um, sold out the price won't change guys if it's zero stocks it will still say 50 there even though the eBay market play uh, the eBay market value the star cities market value the, the other price of that card um, goes down since that one is a sold out item it remains at that price so you will think that the price of that card is still 50, right? But it's not. It should be changing. But since it's zero stocks in there, it will remain as 50. So that's my uh, mistake because I was basing it on the F2F. I, didn't, um, I did not check on the stock. So I thought that I was doing it right. And also, I was checking on TCG Player. Yeah, it's the same thing. And other LGS as well. Once it's reached zero or sold out on stocks, then the price will freeze on that price when it was sold out. And it will never change. So that's my um, issue. Uh, that time okay so now what I do what I'm doing is I will base it on eBay sold item and completed and I will know I will know the market value at least an estimate and then I will compare it to the LGS and I will compare it to the F2F I will compare it to Star City and then on Facebook marketplace that's that's what I'm comfortable buying as a Facebook marketplace because they will give me their address. I know where they live. And if there's something wrong, I can go back or whatever if they if they sold me fake, I can uh, go to the police and I will just point their house, right? So it, I feel comfortable with that because in is as compared to eBay, although eBay can give you a refund, but you don't know the seller, guys. You will never know. Um, you will only know when uh, when the envelope was delivered to you or the, the package was deliver, delivered to you. That's the only time you will know their name, your their address. And sometimes there's a hub that they will send the item on that hub and the hub will send it to you. So the address will be on that hub. So. For me, I, I'm, I'm good with Facebook Marketplace and people are uh, here in Canada are so polite and they, they are friendly and um, yeah, so far 100% of my experience is good, okay? Uh, maybe there's some that are not like, there's one that I was, uh, I waited for about 30 minutes and 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 they said they can't make it but it's what it is right so that's my experience guys and i hope you learn from my mistakes and maybe you have also some issues with buying things maybe you can um give me some comments and let's talk about it because it this is very useful for flesh and blood um uh, players or collectors who are want just to buy the singles or maybe the boxes as well so even the boxes guys I bought a, a bit expensive box that I didn't know that I can buy it from any other from other LGS as well so that's my mistakes and I hope you learn it from me and um, you can share your views on this one here um, feedback and thank you very much guys for listening and you can visit my patreon um, to support me financially with my videos 
and um, also uh, please like subscribe and uh, you can ring the bell guys so that once i'm online or once i upload a video you can be notified okay thank you very much guys and see you next time bye